Okay. Welcome to the first cooking episode. Ah! Hi. We are going to make a pumpkin soup out of these. These look sus, I know. It's okay. These are, look, if we place them here, they're like a little wider, okay? Ingredients. Onion. Onion. Garlic. You can also add carrots. I don't know where to look, but I have to look here. In my fridge went open again. It was spooky. But just because this is in the fridge still, this is a courgette or zucchini, zucchini, okay? Bell pepper or red paprika or whatever, you know, like uh, those little vegetables also work. To start off, I have a big pot. This is called a big Dutch oven. You can almost do anything in it. It's very nice. Put some oil in. I uh, use olive oil. You can use vegetable oil, normal oil. It's whatever. Just I'm gonna roast them. Because <laughs> that, that brings a very nice roast flavor. In half. Yes. That take the seeds out. Alright. You can use a spoon. Very nice. And you go like scoop. Take a trash can. Bam. You open the trash. And you just do that. Whole, clean, not clean. So do that with the other one as well. Turn the oven on, on 180 degrees. And I don't know what the fuck in Fahrenheit is, by the way. Put that here. Baking sheet. Ba -ba 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 baking sheet. And you cut the pumpkin again in half. Grab the oil. And you just do this a little bit over the pumpkins, okay? Drizzle them with oil, season them with salt, pepper. Add it to your flavoring, of course. Into the oven they go, until they're nice and crisp. I think it's 20 minutes, but we can see after this. Goodbye to the pumpkins. In the oven they go. Then, while they're in the oven, cut the onion. Cut off the top. So you get this, this needs to stay. The back is where, if you cut the back, that's where the onion crying comes from. If you have your onion like this, peel off the first layer, what a lot of people do, I would say. First, I like to cut it in half. This is still fine, if you have this. Now you can peel off the first layer, it goes off easier. Now, we want to cut the onion. It doesn't really matter because uh, we're gonna blend anyway later. Slices like that, you know. Now turn on the fire. Low to medium. Throw them in. Wash your vegetable. I'm gonna put in the courgette because I can. Same as the other, I would say, just uh, in half and then just chunks. The onions need to get the flavor into the oil first. So I'll wait with those a little while. I like that at least. That's at least what I like. Then, the garlic. Take two cloves. Oh my god, I can't take it out. Two garlic. Then just make sure... Uh... There's a lot of strategies you can do. People also don't know how to do the garlic thing. Like, how do you get the skin off? You can either put it on your cutting board, put your hand palm on it, and just do that so you hear a crack. Or you can just put your knife over it and then smash it. It's like what you prefer. I understand it. Maybe your knife is like, ooh, it's an expensive knife. Let's not do that. But uh, then you get this idea. And you can just boop, take off the skin. And it's very easy. Garlic, um, you can just cut in big chunks, I would say, as well. They're not small, but they're gonna give flavor, and that's what it's about, of course. Give them a good whisk. 
Then, um, what is nice is just, you know, let that sit until the, there are sizzling vegetables. In Europe, we have like these cubes, you probably also have that. Use that. You can uh, use any stock you like, I guess. I am going to use vegetable because I think it's the most fitting for pumpkin because it's a vegetable. A good pumpkin soup is probably a pumpkin soup that you blend. So, you can have a blender, like the one, the other standing way is in the pot, which is really effective. But I don't have that, but we do have this. Oh, I'm going to put it here. Just put everything in, and then you click it in, and then you just blend. So that's what you need to make it nice and creamy. Now we just need to wait until the onion is uh, finally wanting to get on fire. But they're a little slow today. Plus the heat on. The heat can go a little higher. Let's put it to medium. If you put the pumpkins in the oven, you can also put a little bit of fresh rosemary for extra flavor. Uh, in the soup pan right here, we can just put uh, salt and pepper. I don't know why I put them away. And what I will do, and I think is very nice, you could also add a little chili pepper, or I have these chili oil or whatever, you can put that in. It's very simple. If you have some leftover vegetables, you can also just heat them in. For sure, for sure do this pumpkin shit in the oven earlier. So I'm gonna check now. I mean, I would think that it needs 20 minutes. Before we forget, the bread. When you have the soup, to drown your bread into something. I, uh, you can use any type of bread. These are oven breads. You can use fresh bread, whatever. I will coat them with garlic butter to give them a little bit more flavor. This, the garlic butter. This is made from just uh, your local butter, put in a lot of salt and pepper, fresh parsley and basil. You can also put in some ori oregano or whatever, like those Italian things, spices, mix them in a blender, in a, in a mixer, and then you just get this nice garlicky thing. The onions are starting to uh, come alive. Make sure you keep stirring them. So I like to cut the bread into like the whole baguette in half. So you, so you get that and then you just tear it apart. One of those good old spreading knives. You grab a few. You grab a few, interesting. You grab some and you just eat it on. Make sure you take it out of the fridge so it's not stone cold hard. Stone cold hard, nice. Whole ass baguette, bro. So you get a nice layer of garlic. Onion looking good, we can put in the courgettes as well now. Put this in as well now. The zucchini, courgette, however you want to call it. Every language almost looks like the same. Get your oven meats so you don't burn. I always forget, sadly. Mm. Look how nice. Can I show? Somehow. So I get like a really crispy layer at the top. That's what you want. They get softer. You want to technically leave them in the oven also when they're really soft. So it's easier to scoop. Maybe with the glove? The hand? Bonk. Is this? <coughs> it would have also been 10 times more easy if I just let it in the oven for longer, but hey. It was a long time ago since I put pumpkins in the oven. Come, come, all of you, don't leave your brothers behind. Um, I need the blender. It's going all in, all of it. We're 
blending the soup. Okay, now we put in water with bouillon stock and soup in. Garlic bread. Tonight you will be protected from vampires. Wait, how are you gonna eat it? Bread. Look, uh, this is the plate. The finished. Plate. The finished pumpkin soup. With garlic bread. With garlic bread. It's very nice. I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. Yay. If you do, make sure to follow me everywhere, join the Discord, and I will see everyone tomorrow. I'm so happy everyone joined the Halloween stream. Yeah. Much love. See everyone tomorrow, normal time, normal stream, and uh, yes. Bye! Would you just end it like yeah, bye!